In this particular session, we will continue with our next application from the Pentester Lab. So let's get started. So again, we have the same over objective here, which we just need to figure out what was hard coded and where it is. So again, I'll go with the ZX as my decompiler. I'll go with Android 05, open it and go with the same methods, resources, manifest.xml to figure out path for your main activity class here. And the path was com.pentesterlab.android05.main activity. Now let's go with the path com pentesterlab.android and inside this main activity let's go with the source code here so inside the source code you can see we got some random numbers this time instead of some meaningful variables this happens because of your obfuscation for the security concerns what your developers do they simply replace their meaningful variables like username password pin key like submit button your other different meaningful variables they simply replace them with the non meaningful words out there like this one to make them a little bit easier to understand the code you can simply go to the tools part and you can simply deobfuscate your code if you simply remove this check you will see we got a single letter in the obfuscation part we remove the meaningful variables or the keywords from the application and replace them with the single character or double character variable names. So you can also follow this deobfuscator to make them a better understandable form. We simply define a button here with the name F1777L which is defined in edit text with this particular name F1778M. Then we have an on click listener here. Other than this on click listener we also have an on create method which is after the on click method this time. But first of all, we will go with the on click method. Inside the on click, we got the basic declarations here. We define the IDs for this both button and for the edit text here. And then we set an on click listener for my button. And this on click listener code was available here. If both the conditions that were available here is true, then we simply define an intent. And this particular intent will deal with your message activity class as like your previous applications. And we have also added some extra elements here or the variable name was pin and the value for this variable will be collected from your input. Right after converting it into string, it will be stored with your pin variable and send to your activity with the name message activity dot class. Let's go with the source code for this message activity here. Right click go to declaration and inside this message activity you can see we got a declaration for my text view and the name was 17779L here and we also have a method with the name MO2659A. This time because of this obfuscation it becomes a little more difficult to understand the application structure. But we got the same on create method here. Inside the onCreate method, we simply collect the intent here. We simply handle the in intent with the getIntent method. Then we have also collected the extras or the variables that were available inside that intent or the message box, you can say. Uh, and we simply convert them into string and put them inside your pin variable. Done. Then we simply call this method and you can say this will simply show message kind of thing. And the message will be the key is and we simply call this particular class. This is a class name. And inside the class, we have a method with this name M3212A. And we have simply sent these values as the attribute. And we have also sent another value. And this value will be collected from this resources.strings.xml file. And inside that XML file, we got a variable name with the name decryption underscore key. So let's go with this method first, then we go with the decryption key as well. So if I go with the right click, go to declaration and here you can see we got this simple method which were triggered after this particular call. So I'll simply do the same thing. I'll copy the source code and try to execute the source code on any Java compiler. So let's just remove these extra elements. Let's copy the code, right click, copy and let's paste them here we got the method here and we'll simply replace the call here with our 
call available inside this message activity class so just copy this line from here up to here I'm not going to copy this get string r dot string dot decrypt instead of this line I'll simply paste the value that was available at this location decryption underscore key I'll simply replace the value with this variable that's all simple case so I'll remove this one paste the call give a comma and now I will copy the value that was located at the place of this decryption underscore key inside my resources and strings.xml file so go with the resources resources.arsc we got resources again we got values and we got strings.xml in this strings.xml we got decryption underscore key and the key was pentester lab so just copy this string and paste this here inside your double quotes and let's give it a check like we will able to execute this code or not now it looks good and let's execute this okay we got an error inside the call and the error was for this semicolon okay we have a less round bracket here it's completed now let's execute this and we got the key here we got the hard coded value here just by executing the same decryption function but this time we cannot analyze we cannot figure out that this was the decryption function right because of the obfuscation obfuscation was mainly used to make it harder for any unknown person or any attacker to analyze the code because those variables name those function names were not so meaningful this time it becomes a lot harder for us to analyze the code so this was your android activity 05 by pentester lab have a good day and stay connected